Priya Desai and today in this particular video we will talk about an another amazing interview based question of a link list okay so let's get started in this particular question what the interviewer is saying please try to understand the problem statement pretty well before uh, looking for the solution or the approach behind that he or she is saying that you have been provided a link list for example here you will be having the notes like this for example here i am having uh the data like uh two okay after that i will be having the next node as four perfect afterwards we will be having six afterwards what we have is we have this kind of a structure i hope you guys able to understand what i want to state here that there is some sort of looping which is there 8 12 14 this kind of a structure is there so what we need to find out or what the interviewer is expecting from you is that you need to return true if in your link list there is some loop this is something which we can say is a detection of loop detection of loop in case of a linked list perfect okay let, let me do one thing now we will discuss the approach as well as i will tell you the implementation for the detection of a linked list detection of loop in any linked list but then you should uh, tell me okay that at what kind of scenarios uh, in a real life example this detection of loop will help so can you guess anything in a real world scenario where there is actually a application in a linked list that okay if we will be able to detect the loop this is how these things will happen and we will be able to optimize the revenue or something like that can you correlate but coming to this question again so if suppose this is the architecture which is given to you so your code should output it as that yes there is a loop inside the linked list maybe you can print some statement that there is a loop which is there loop is found something like that so this is something that we want to do here so obviously here if you will see suppose i am again starting from 100 200 400 700 1200 and maybe 1500 this is a uh, you know address which is given to me and this is the head node that we have which is 100 so this is a start this is a starting point right or i would say starting of the node so this is the head node that we have now this will point to 200 this will point to 400 this will point to 700 this will point to 1200 this will point to 1500 this will point to 400 this is a kind of a architecture which is we, which we have now the major objective here is to detect the loop there is something uh, which is a very famous approach inside uh, inside this topic of a linked list called as floyd's cycle detection algorithm floyd's cycle detection algorithm and i call it as here tortoise kind of a algo and you will uh, listen the name of uh, other people as fast and slow pointer approach this approach is quite useful to solve these kind of a problems and you should understand the application of this approach and if suppose in future you uh, encountered this kind of a problem then you should have the ability to basically correlate and solve that problem using these approaches as well and that's the major reason why we used to discuss so many interview based problems right so that we will be able to understand the different different kinds of approaches obviously we can't solve every single problem that exist for dsa but what we can solve is that we can solve maximum variety of problems 
so that we will be able to understand each and every bit of approaches and we will be able to correlate if suppose new problem statement is coming into picture in the interview right so what this approach says it says that what i will do is that i will start the here and the tortoise at a same position which is the starting node which is the head node but now what i will do is that i will just move the here as two nodes per iteration two nodes per iteration and i will move the tortoise as one node per iteration one node per iteration and after that i will just try to see that if they are meeting at some point of time or not now if suppose this hare and tortoise while moving if they are meeting if the hare and the tortoise will meet at some point of time we can simply print that okay for sure the loop is there so loop is found otherwise in else case we can say that or we can print that the loop is not found the loop is not found that is the simple thing that we need to understand here right let me try to give you one example here for example here we are both the pointers uh, and okay this here is something which people can correlate it as fast pointer right and this tortoise is something which is a slow pointer so any anything which you can uh, your mind is able to remember that terms or able to correlate that terms that's perfectly fine now let's get started and we'll try to see that whether the hypothesis that we assume is correct or not here if you will first of all let me try to show you that uh, what i am saying here both of them this is the tortoise and this is the hare they are starting from the very first node which is the head node that i have now head will move sorry hare will move two nodes per iteration tortoise will move because it is having a slow speed only one iteration at a uh, one time so now what will happen at the first iteration what will happen is that tortoise will move to this particular node do let me know whether i am doing it correct or not and here will move two iterations so this particular node and tortoise will go only single iteration so this particular node perfect at the next iteration two steps so one two so here will move here and the tortoise will be only single iteration so here correct now again at the next iteration here will move two steps one two so and tortoise will move next step so here is tortoise and here is here perfect in the next iteration here will move two steps so one two so again here will move here and tortoise will also move single step so tortoise will be here can i say that this is something which is the meeting point this is something which is the meeting point which i was talking about and if this meeting point is coming up it simply indicates that the loop is there otherwise for sure because uh, i can say one more thing here that here is moving fastly so here should reach towards the none and if suppose it will be able to reach to the none then also we can say that loop is not there otherwise if they both meet so this is something which i am referring as the meeting point so if they able they will be able to encounter to the meeting point then we can simply say that loop is found then we can simply say that the, that the loop is found and that is what i am talking about here so basically what is happening here is that if suppose this is something which is the number of steps that it is running is m and inside the cycle if suppose this is something which i am saying is the n so can i say that the value of capital n is something which is equals to the number of 
steps movement by the uh, tortoise which is equals to m plus n plus there may be some constant amount of cycles into the value of i iterations tortoise movement will be two times n because it is running at a time two iterations it will be something which is equals to m plus n plus c times j their movement may be much higher as comparable to the value of i so this is the equation number 1 so and this is the equation number 2 if i will just try to subtract the equation number 2 with the equation number 1 that i have so i will be able to get the value of n as c times j minus i which proves that what ever hypothesis that we assume that if they will be able to meet at some certain point means there is a loop is valid here is valid here because it is showing that after some j minus i amount of iterations where c is the constant we will be able to reach to a point where they both are meeting t and h tortoise and here right so let me try to just uh, do the implementation of whatsoever i am saying here so here if you will try to observe let me try to open the jupiter notebook here if you will see uh, what i can do here is that i am using the same uh, list which we have used in our previous sessions for the insertion of a linked list at the very end right 12 8 9 and 10 now what i will do here is that i will try to create the first of all looping how i can create uh, what i can do here is that i can do one simple thing i can say so here i am having 12 then 12 is the head node then 8 then 9 and then 10 suppose i want after 9 the looping will be there towards 12 so 12 8 9 12 12 this is a loop kind of a structure which i want to implement so what i will do l list dot head dot next dot next so next is 8 next is 9 maybe dot next is 10 and i after 10 i want it to ls dot head correct so here in a way i created one sort of a loop now what i can do here is that i can just apply one if condition if now i will just say ls dot detect loop i will just call one function and if there is a loop it will print to me yes there is a loop which exist so what we can print is we can print detect loop inside the linked list right otherwise it will print to me that there is there is no loop no loop perfect this is the thing that we have now what we need to do here is that we need to do one simple step that is we need to define this method so what i can do here is that i can simply define the method which is detection of the of the loops inside the linked list so how we can do def detect loop this is the method name in the current list that i am passing what i will do is that i will just initialize the two pointers correct i will just initialize the two pointers here by saying uh, maybe i can take you can take uh, the variable pointer name as slower fast pointer because i have explained by a here and tortoise let me take that only so initially i have initialized both of the pointers as head cell so here and the tortoise both values will be initialized as head node after that what i can do is that i will apply one while loop where i will say until the value of tortoise and the value of here and the value of here dot next because here will move two steps it will not become none what i want to do here is that i want the here to move two steps here dot next dot next i want the tortoise to move only single step tortoise dot next 
tortoise dot next simple this is the, this is the two movements which i want now at any point of time if the tortoise and the hare met at that point of time uh, what we can say is that we can simply maybe return the value as true which indicates that okay they have met right otherwise outside the while loop we can return the value as false okay let me try to just uh, verify once first of all let me give some space so it will detect the loop inside the detected the loop inside the linked list what i will do i will just try to do the comment on this line and then we'll try to see the answer there is no loop so this is something which i am talking about as an floyd's cycle detection algorithm so this this algorithm is famous by the name of famous by the name of floyd's cycle detection algorithm sometimes they can directly uh, you know tell you that can you please explain floyd cycle detection algorithm so sometimes what happened is that we know the logic but we don't know that this is the name of this algorithm that's why i am i am just uh, you know prioritizing the name as well because i don't want that you just know the logic behind that and you just know, don't know the name know the name and after that once you will be out, out of the interview and you will see that what is this algorithm all about and then you will say shit yaar i just know that algorithm but i don't know i don't know the name of that algorithm right that regret is very bad so i think that i am making sense to everyone right how basically we will be able to identify the loop inside the linked list is what we have st uh, studied in this particular video i hope i am making sense to everyone with this i would like to end this particular session and uh, meanwhile just think over it that okay we will be able to detect the loop it's pretty much fine but as i uh, asked you the question in the starting of the session at what real life application this detection of loop will help me i'm waiting for your response fine so with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone and i'll see you all in my next upcoming video